I'm saying we should spend one night talking to somebody with voices higher than us. You mean go out on a date? Yeah. Oh. Well, I can't. Why not? Well, it's fine for you. I'm still married. You can cheat until the divorce comes through. <laughs> it's not bad. I just have no feeling for it. Nothing. Try and explain it. Listen, I intend to go out. I get lonely too. I've been separated a couple of weeks. Just give me a little time. There is no time. Have you seen this week's TV guide? <laughs> There's nothing on. Besides, what am I asking you? I just want to go out to dinner with a couple of girls. All you got to do is eat and talk. It's not that hard. You have eaten and talked. Why do you even need me? I can just go out by yourself. What if I want to bring one of them back here? If we walk in and find you cleaning the windows, it's going to kind of put a damper on things. I'll take a pill. I won't sleep. Why take a pill when you can take a girl? Because I would feel guilty, that's why. It may not make any sense to you, but that's just the way I feel. Look. Take her in the kitchen and make a blueberry pie for all I care. I'm just saying it's healthier than sitting up in your room writing Francis's name and all the crossword puzzles. For one night, talk to another girl. Who would I call? The only girl I know is my secretary. She doesn't even like me. Believe it's me. There's a couple of sisters that live in the building. English girls. One's a divorcee, one's a widow. They're barrel laughs. And how would you know? I was stuck in the elevator with them last week. I've been meaning to call them ever since. I wasn't sure which one to start with. Oh, this is perfect. What do they look like? Oh, don't worry, yours is pretty. I'm not worried. Which one's mine? <laughs> uh, the divorcee. Why do I like the divorcee? I don't care, you want the widow? No, I don't want the widow. I don't even want the divorcee. I'm just doing this for you. Look, when the sisters show up, just point to the one you like. It doesn't matter, I just want to go out and have some laughs. All right, all right. Don't say all right. I want you to promise me you're going to try and have a good time. It's important to us. Say, I promise. I promise. Again? I promise. And no writing in that little book of yours, a dollar third for the cab? No writing in the little book. <laughs> no one is to be called Francis. It's Gwendolyn and Cicely. No Francis. No whining or groaning or moaning. I'll spawn from 7 to 12. Okay, and this above all, no talk of the past, only the present. And the future. There's the new Felix I've been waiting for. This is going to be a night. Hey, where do you want to go? For what? For dinner, where are we? You mean out to a restaurant? The four of us, it'll cost a fortune. <laughs> we'll save money on laundry. We won't wear socks on Thursday. <laughs> We'll have dinner here. Here? I'll cook. We'll say 30, 40 dollars. What kind of double date is that? You're going to be stuck in the kitchen all night. No, I won't. I'll cook the potatoes in. Once I get a book in the afternoon, I have the entire day. Where is the new Felix already? Who are you calling? Francis. 